For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What up, players? This is Sabre Finding 4, another TCG match with our Salamence from Evolving Skies deck. Bad deck, I just decided to use on a whim, just trying to make a card that I like, or not a card, because I, I hate these weak ass cards, but a Pokemon that I like. Salamence is my favorite Pokemon, and that's really the only Salamence legal right now, if you don't want to count like Roaring Moon and that kind of crap. So we're going to try it out. Last time we somehow win a very long-winded match against the uh, Palkia, Baxcalibur, Chien Pao deck. Very weird one. The dude made some misplays and it resulted in me winning, basically. But, um, you know, you're not always going to get this lucky. And even then, I mean, I just struggled so bad because our guys just can't take a hit. And it does look like I won't be very lucky today. My opponent opening up with the Hisuian Zor arc. So almost a forgotten Pokemon, it came out, I think, in the same set as Giratina. I'm pretty sure it came in, yeah, Lost Impact or Lost Origin. Uh, I doubt, no, it wasn't with Darkrai in Astral Radiance. Maybe I'm wrong, who knows, I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure it came in the set with Giratina V-Star. And I guess people don't use it that much now. I mean, I thought it was going to be really broken when I reviewed it and... In a way it is, I mean, it's super fast, it's turbo, needs one attachment, can do high damage. It's one of those types of decks. I guess people that like going turbo, like, you know, the Mad Party, Party and Night March archetypes, they would maybe use a card like this. But perhaps I guess it's outclassed by other more reliable and resilient decks. Okay, so damage pump, he's spreading the stuff around. It's almost kind of silly when you see some of these cards where it just it would be a bad card in every sense, but they just made it specifically to work with this guy from the same set. Same for the Gengar. And uh, he's the Gap, Jaw, whatever, that stadium. And Forest Seal Stone. Didn't use the effect though, but I mean, just such an ex intense extreme setup already. Now... I guess on the bright side, if this guy is going to be putting damage counters on his own Pokemon on his own, then I don't, I don't really need to just worry about getting the bonus damage, putting damage counters first. Salamence is always going to do 200 as long as I can attack with him. I'm going to get all of these small bag guns down. Unfortunately, they'll get some damage from the effect of that stadium, but I couldn't do anything about that. Got to get our basics down. I have the rare candy in hand, but I don't have any energies. We couldn't get a, a mental attachment, nothing. So next turn, like if I see, if I don't see like reversal energy, we can't even attack. I hope this guy won't be able to attack himself, but I doubt it. This deck is so turbo. I mean, he gets the stage two out. He got his first attachment and, you know, he didn't even use the V-Star power with the stone. I doubt he's gonna use it. I mean, if you're gonna, if you have such a thin hand, you're gonna use that dude to draw seven. Another good thing about the card that just helps it being good. All right. So everybody, almost everybody has damage. To be honest, it does overkill damage on my Pokemon anyway, but it just kind of sucks that that's the situation. The second energy is on and um 250 yeah that's like it maxes out at 300 basically but if you do 50 turn after turn is still very strong and uh, spin that is out uh, i don't know why he's taking so long to grab a prize come on dude come on and I hope I, I do, like, see something next turn. Like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? He still hasn't taken a prize. <sighs> I hate these sort of situations, man. I hate when they... You start a game, it takes them 10 years to set up. 
or you get in this position too like th this dude just made an attack and then probably just went to take a piss or something now fucking bitch anyway so promote the back on I see the earthen vessel a bit too late for that I'm gonna get the Salamence in the active position first we're just gonna risk it and be aggressive and uh, go for the you know I mean, out of 46 cards, I'm trying to see one card, so I know I won't. Uh, damn it to hell. I'm going to get the shell gun because from the looks of things, we just sacrificed the Salamence for no reason. I get rid of his stadium, but it's a bit too late right now. And there it is, reversal energy. Okay, I got so lucky. Thank God. So I will be able to make an attack somehow. We didn't just promote the Salamence for nothing there. Here's the problem though. This guy isn't going to die. I'm going to die next turn. And then I am supporterless. And I am stuck with nothing to do. That's how our silly decks are. With these regular stage 2 Pokemon. So despite how hurt this Zoroark. It doesn't matter if I won't be able to touch it later on. You know... It's so silly. Like, it is absolutely so silly. Like, you look at Shelgon right now. It needs two energies to do, like, two for 50. Like I said, we had cards in the DP era that did two for 50, even two for 60. Like, 15 years ago. Uh, they couldn't even make, you know, these... <sighs> stage 1, Stage... Like, these other weak-ass Pokemon couldn't even give them like a 1 for 60 attack or just something so that I can at least kill this thing even if I don't see a supporter at least I'm putting some kind of pressure but no and I'm gonna get the mana fee and the trekking shoes because right now we just need to really just dig and see more stuff um, I see the lance I guess that's gonna work maybe next turn I'm going to put an energy on the shell gun and put... I think I should bench the mana fee because I think we're going to need a lot of decoys here. I'm, I'm just getting my ass kicked. One-sided slaughter, not being able to do anything. So play that down, pass the turn. And uh, that's, all, that's all I can really do. Just leave out a decoy and then hope it works out. I can just make an attack next turn, get the Salamence out, only for it to be dying in one shot anyway. Like, what's even the point of getting the stage 2? If I just put the second energy on the Shogun and attack, the guy dies now. Anything I get out, it just dies anyway. This is how this game is ridiculous and unbalanced for the regular Pokemon. And of course he bosses orders. I knew, I just knew he was going to do it too. So there goes my dude that I'm trying to slowly power up. No mercy, of course. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to promote the back on. And once again, I'm gambling here. I need to see a reversal energy. This guy's almost one, by the way. I haven't taken a single prize. He's at three. I can bring out the stage two. But I don't have a reversal energy or nothing. So we won't be able to do anything. I'm going to pull something. Hopefully it gets stuck, but I doubt it. All of these Pokemon have low retreat. And he can just promote another Zoroark anyway. So just decide what you're going to promote finally in your life. And then I'm just going to attach a water energy and pass the turn. This is the reality. Like this, this matchup that you guys are seeing. This is your typical matchup if you're going to use a deck like this against any not even meta just any rule box pokemon like i could be playing against tinkadon i could be playing against i don't know just insert any random ex pokemon toxtricity whatever any random pokemon you could think of it'd be the same story like i would need the nuts to be able to do anything so he goes for escape rope somehow um that's crazy. Is the Salamence going to survive? Somehow it looks like. So just barely 
survive, but I still need to see an energy to attack, otherwise we're not doing anything. I am supporterless, I'm pretty much cartless, got nothing going on, I'm just passing the turns without attacking. Even if I would start attacking and see a supporter at this point, he just outpaced me anyway. He just needs to get two prizes, I need to get like multiple attacks off to fucking win. He's still pissing me off, not getting prizes, just doing something and then fucking off somewhere. What is this guy doing, like browsing the net at the same time while playing me? We see just no fire energies, I've got the same amount, but of course I'm top decking everything else that I, I don't need to top deck. Same amount of water with the fire energies and I get all the brick cards to get. So, it's, it's a loss basically, but we're just going to keep playing until we die. And, yeah, I don't even have any other Pokemon down. Like, I'm, I, you won't even need to get the sixth prize. So can you please hurry up if you're going to kill me? What are you doing? He promoted the other dude. I mean, my intimidating fang is how useless it is. You know, I'm looking at my discopal here. We used up a bunch of stuff and that the deck is still bricked up. Fuck, man. Fuck is all I can say. And then he just passed the turn. I don't know why. I guess he's decided to give me some mercy. So we finally see a supporter card. I get the uh, schoolgirl. So I do see a fire energy, but the moment I kill this thing, the other dude comes out. I don't have any other Bagon to set up. Like, at least if I could get another Salamence out, then maybe if you promoted the other Zoroark, I can just kill that too. But, because we wasted all of those turns sacrificing our attackers for no reason, I still can't do anything. So don't even bother playing the Jirachi down, I'm just gonna get my ass kicked. And that's it. We couldn't even take a, a single prize. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, shitty match. Whatever is all I can say. That's what happens when you use these regular Pokemon. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. This guy still isn't taking prizes. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. What up?